there, welcome back to the Random Review channel. So today's review is going to be this here. Ta-da! This here is an Optica Scorpion grip. Okay, so the manufacturer is Optica. Um, it's trademarked apparently. And it's called an X grip or a Scorpion grip is what some of them are branded as. Now, there's quite a lot of these here which are just rebranded. Um, but this one here um, has served me really, really well. Uh, I use it quite a lot. Um, I use it in conjunction with some other um, sort of pieces of equipment which I'll show you soon here. Um, and I'll just run through it. So it's all plastic, um, except for the little part here, which uh, your camera screws into. So this here bit here, um, the bottom of your camera, your DSLR or your camcorder, uh, screws into this here, and there's just a little handle. You can move it about uh, along this bottom part to uh, position it where you want, um, really just to balance it. So you really want to get it onto this bottom reel where it feels nice and balanced in your hand, once you've added on whatever you're going to add on to this front bit. So onto the front bit. This front bit is a, a hot shoe, or not really hot shoe, but it's a, a, a sort of adapter that takes um, things like this here, for instance. So for, if you wanted to use this here and you wanted to use uh, an external screen or something like uh, a mobile phone, for instance, instead of using the smaller screen on the, uh, on the actual DSLR, we can insert this here and uh, tighten it down. Hopefully tighten it down. There we go. And then we can use this here as a, a screen holder for the likes of a phone, which means then when it's tightened down properly, we can put our uh, external screen in, which connects to our camera. And then you have this here. Um, you have this here set up, which gives you a bigger sort of screen and you can uh, without having to try and look down to the screen on the camera. If you have a DSLR that doesn't, uh, with a flip out and tilt screen, this here is a great alternative. Um, because most people have cell phones, you can download apps, DSLR apps, um, which allow you then to view your camera through your phone. Um, yeah, and another thing that's handy, which I do use, um, is products um, such as this here, which is a light. So for instance, you can attach this on the top, um, and it will give you light if you're in a dark environment. The possibilities are endless. Um, there is so much in terms of uh, things that can go on the top of these. Here's another little device for instance. Um, so if you had a shotgun microphone and you wanted to have an external screen or similar, you can use one of these here on the top there and it gives you uh, extended functionality. Back to this, um, there's rubber feet on the bottom. Uh, so when it's sitting upright, uh, it is quite um, sturdy and it's sort of not gonna go anywhere. It's not going to tip over. The one thing I would say about this is that because it's made out of plastic, there's quite a bit of wobble between the top part of the handle, you can sort of see it there, uh, and the base. Um, it would have been nicer, but an awful lot dear if it was made out of sort of metal, you know, an, an alloy or sort of zinc type material. But hey, you know, it's pretty cheap. Um, you can't really expect the world from this here. Um, you can actually, if you wanted, then you could probably put something between these two, um, the two hoops here, to hold it at a rigid distance. It doesn't come with anything, but then uh, you, you could sort of jury rig something up between them to make that more rigid um, so that it's not going to be as uh, prone to sort of wobbling about. Um, this here bit here is a rubber as well, which uh, sort of the bottom of your camera would rest on to hold it uh, steady. I would say that if you have a DSLR and the DSLR is on and it's balanced, it doesn't give you an awful lot of room behind the camera. So a flip out screen um, is essential if you're not going to put an external screen on the top. Overall, I love this and I use it quite a lot. Uh, the handle's a sort of nice, soft, like neoprene type of uh, sponge. Um, all the time I've used it, it hasn't uh, deformed and there's little indents in the bottom where you can hold it. Um, yeah, it gives you a really stable platform if you're doing video. It'll take your video to the next level without having to go into uh, steady cams and things like that there. So really good product. I would recommend it to anybody and thanks for watching.